guys, it's Krista. Today I'm going to be showing you another look at one of the fashion actions. I'll be using the action Allison. I'm going to be editing one of Emily's photos here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the landscape for the portrait orientation of the photo. I'm start by pressing play. The first prompt is going to be for the sunlight haze that's going to be in the corner. So you can just go ahead and click on it and drag this gradient wherever you like in the photo. I'm going to keep it kind of over here towards this left hand corner so it's not too overwhelming on the model. Right there looks good. The next prompt is going to be for our curve layer. This lets you have control over the highlights and the shadows in your photo. So you can just adjust the different dots on the curve line and play with them until you get the, the contrast that you really like. I like a little bit more of a deeper contrast in my photo so something like that looks good. You also might notice this red line in the background. That's from the red curve. You can also adjust the hue of the red tones in your photo and the contrast that it provides there. You can do this with the red and the green channels as well. Once you have that set, you can go ahead and click OK to continue with that as well. This next one is for the color finish, so it's a selective color layer. And it's letting us know that the white, neutral, and black values are going to give us the most control for our photo. So you go ahead and choose from the color menu, you can choose the white. And you can see that there's the yellow already boosted up here in the corner. I like to play with the sliders and see how that affects the photo and the way it looks. So all the way in this corner it's a very white tone and all the way to the side it's very yellow. So just choose whatever you like the best. I'm going to go somewhere right in the middle right about there looks good. You can adjust the black layers as well um, and the magenta and all the different colors um, just to really get the most out of your photo and the way you like it. Next I'll go to the neutrals. This one you can choose the black layer and you can see that gives you a lot of uh, depth over your photo with a different contrast of it. You can choose the yellow, you might want to offset a little bit with a little bit more of a blue tone or a little bit of a purple tone. Something like that looks really nice. And then the last one is uh, the blacks and this one really controls the shadows of your photo. So if you want a much lighter shadow you can drag it to this end. Or if you want a, a, a deeper, darker shadow, you can leave it towards this end. You can also um, choose the color slider here, so it gives you more of a control over the tone of your photo. I think that that looks pretty good. And once you're happy with it, you can just go ahead and click OK to continue. This next prompt is for another gradient we're going to be bringing in. Uh, I'm going to bring it over here towards the side of her so that uh, I don't have them both on the same side and these gradients kind of balance each other out so it gives a nice uh, equal tone over the whole photo. You can always change the angle of it and the different style of it. I'm going to keep it right where it is today though. This last prompt is uh, letting us know we've completed the action and that you can always change the different the masks, the colors, and the layer modes so you really get the most out of the photo. Um, and these actions are really versatile. You can just customize them to your own to your own taste. So the next step I usually do with my photos and my workflow, um, I'll toggle these different layers on and off to see how it affects the photo. And if I want to have more or less of something in the photo, like the film grain or the, the area light here in the corner, if it's too much I can just adjust the opacity, take it down to where it's a level that I like it. So you can just go through these different layers um, and you can see that this is the, the selective color layer and you can decide if you want more or less of it or if you like it just the way that it is. Um, I think the, the biggest factor in this photo um, that's changing it the way it looks is over here is the area light, the very first gradient we put in. Um, it's a very, very bold right now but it's hiding a lot of the detail behind the photo here that we might want to bring out. So I'm going to turn it back on and maybe take it down to about 50% of what it was. That way you still get that really lovely dreamy tone in the photo, but it's not as overwhelming as it was before and you're not losing any of that detail in your photo. I might go ahead and click on the, the white mask here so that we can paint out by choosing the black color and by choosing your paintbrush, keeping it at a low opacity. And then I'm going to zoom in on her face so that I can paint out that light right over her, her face so I can get a little bit more contrast and really bring that out. There we go. Once you get it to the way that you like it, you can just kind of back it up and take a look at the whole overall photo. Make sure it blends nicely and it's the way you like it to look. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and create a folder so that I can put all of this group together, all the layers of the action. Now it's going to be really easy to see a before and after of the photo. This is the original photo by Emily, and this is with her Fashion Action Allison on top of it. You can tell um, it really just gives it that beautiful fashion and ethereal look to the photo, which is something I really enjoy in my own work as well.